There's the Super 32, then the state finals, journeyman, the, oh, Cornell the match. Cornell one, and, and then, then the, the two cadet, match. cadet matches, so six. There's the one when he was like literally oh, his first- Oh, that was part of the cadet first, Oh, and no, then, yeah, the, I guess. The I first guess if months, you want to count that one. The first months of Vito's wrestling career. <laughs> I literally didn't have any recollection of that match. I only remember it because your dad like was scary. I, for the first three or four matches, just got pinned every time. So those all meshed together. But it was, just, it was just like, oh, we are going to the tournament again. Better get ready for my dad to yell at me for getting pinned. Like, <laughs> it's also know? funny in hindsight, because it was at like those pop and flow duels. It was like this like national elementary school dual meet tournament. Your dad's like, we gonna send him. Yeah, like, <laughs> no, I just, my dad brought me, uh, cause he, he's coaching his high school team. And then he like, was like, brought me and was like, Asked like his his friends like anyone in the middle school have an ex empty spot at my weight and they're like one of the guys was like I need one and my dad was like here take my son and then like I ended up losing every match yeah every single one I went I went 0 and 4 that weekend <laughs> I remember Vito at our Super 32 match I've never seen the video it's just burned into my brain fireman's carrying me into a cross face cradle and then I had to fight off my back for like 45 seconds which was tough I was probably like here okay and, and i was then, just like this and i would just i would just here and then my fireman was like a dive to the ankle here and then i probably went here and he turned in and then i went like <laughs> here so it was like both my arms were stuck and i was just like wiggling around but for I could a while not, I could not for the life of me get the fall he gets out and then i get like a couple takedowns I get to, and kind I of don't know I how stole the rest it. of the match that was, went. That was a lot of thievery. The end, I, I think the final score was like 9 8. It was a high scoring match. Yeah. And looking back, like we watched a couple of them before this, like I stole a lot of matches. <laughs> there were a lot of like. A lot of like. Long scrambling. Long like me, I would dive to the leg, hold it, and 45 seconds of scrambling goes by. Or like if I was on top, we watched. So oh my God, so many We wrestled scum in the rides. state finals, but then we wrestled at Journeyman Classic our freshman year. And like, we were pretty good. Like, I ended up winning Super 32, and Vito was like, I think he placed at the weight above. And we wrestled at 113, and like, I rode Vito for like a minute. It was literally with, like. With no top moves. It was like he would instantly stand up, and I just drop to his leg and run him off and the this mat. Was, this is when there was no like. Drop to the leg there stalling. There was no real stalling. So a couple of them is just like. Like this mat is obviously too big for like what it was, but like literally I'd stand up and then he would just like, just be on the leg and like do this. I might even like do one of these right on the edge to waste more time. Like it was so scummy of just like wasting time. There was the time. one. Then there's the cradle I hit there. Yeah, the cradle. The cradle and. Honestly, the one where I was watching, I still do the one similarity that I think I still like keep is I did a lot of like, head hands like this, like Yeah, and here. I still do the back up and dive. So a lot of it is like Vito with his wide stance and then I just like d yeah. dive in there and then he head blocks. Like that still probably happens now when we wrestle. It's like I back up and shoot and then he kind of like. And then I try to do that. But now it's like I actually slide there versus when like in those, in those other ones where I head block, I'm literally doing like this, like trying to run it down like in a circle. And then I maybe get to his foot, and then he sits, and then pulls me up to uh, seatbelt. Seat we end belt. up in seatbelt a lot. A lot. Not really anymore. Not, well, because now but we now, know how to shelf the leg and finish. Yeah, but before it was like if it he was, was on a leg, like, I would just do this, and he's like trying to cement mixer me, and we would just I would just come here. I would just fight that position like a lot. Oh my goodness. And then we had the Cornell match. And that was really sloppy because it was freestyle. But Vito elbow passed me like seven times. I do remember that. It was definitely the time where I started just going like, like here. But all I remember from that match is like literally like a uh, hip, tip. hip tip. Like I remember I was, well, I was up by two. Dude, I remember being on your legs. Like this is the level of like not good that we were working with. I was in on a double and or maybe a high crotch and like stood up. And then he grabbed my leg and just like hipped in. I just fell to my back. And we came up. And then he, and then hip, like, and then he just like hip tipped me from high crotch to my back again. And at that time, at that time it was a seven point tech. So there was three for the feet to back and then 
two for the hip tip, and then that was the match. And what's even funnier is you can see, like, just the way the video is, you see Mike, like, oh, and he's, like, throwing his hands up, like, he's, like, whatever, I'm having a field day with this one. Because you could just tell both of us are just, like, it reminded me of little kids who don't know the rules, just, like, scrapping. Like, we were just getting in there and, like, what, yeah. you know, whatever. Then at the cadet matches, we kind of knew what we were doing. The cadet matches were more, like, you could tell we, we've been training longer, but, like, There's yeah. no parterre in there. There was no part there at all. Literally, I, I get like, I'm. We were just rewatching it. I'm like, go to the legs, do the lace. And I'm like, at the at the time when we wrestled, I was like, I didn't have any leg lace. I wasn't good at it at all. So we Which were big gut wrenches. Matches and I was not on top of Vito once. <laughs> but he the won. The first match, I like, he took the shot and I like pinned him off a cradle, so no time on top. And then the second match, I like inside tripped him and got four but then we end up in a scramble and I got a point for him like scissoring his feet. Yeah. And then that was it. And then I ended up winning the match. I think like he, I was winning 6-4 and he like tried to throw me and I just like fell on top of him right at the end. Yeah. But yeah, like, we wrestled two matches with no <laughs> top wrestling. We were watching that, that second cadet match, the one where like, he it was the inside, cr inside trip and the cartwheel and then there were like, the <laughs> it was, it was so stupid. <laughs> I, so, I'm literally embarrassed. This is match two of the finals of the Cadet World Team Trials. I'm beating Vito six to two, and I'm literally just standing there with my, like this, basically. And I'm like, and at the time, like, I was- You see him, like, doing this. Like, I'm literally He's like, about to do something. I'm like, I saw, I'm literally like, I kept doing like this, like, this is kind of how I wrestled, like, here, and like, I kept tying up and I couldn't get anything. I look at the clock, there's a minute left, it's six to two, and I'm like, I need something. And I'm just and I like, had a four, so he needed to like score five points, basically. I, I don't know what went through my head, and I'm a little embarrassed of it now. But I go, I go. What? Uh, interesting. What? He's trying cartwheel. He's trying cartwheel, and it gets to the leg actually. And then sh shoot, he head blocks, and then I run corner, and I ended up dragging him and taking me down, and got the takedown. Zero for the cartwheel, but two for the takedown. <laughs> Jinx. He hits his cartwheel, and you just see me go like this. He does it, and I'm like, and I just start like, what's going on? I'm like backing away. I'm like, my dad's like, what are you doing? What did you think was going to happen? I'm like, I, I don't know. He's like, well, whatever you did wasn't good. You got taken down off of a cartwheel from space. Literally just <laughs> shot. It, and it wasn't even like a true, he was like, Ha! And then like <laughs> went to my, it wasn't even like a... <laughs> oh my God, literally, it's so embarrassing. Uh, but that was the last match we ever wrestled. The last true point, I guess I fell on top of him at the end, but the last offensive point is cartwheel to arm drag. <laughs> that was one where I'm like, okay, I won, but like, I hope that one gets brushed under the rug. Yeah. So many times, this was, this was my biggest like uh, kryptonite was I was, I did a lot of high crotches, and then he was just really good at sitting cradle. So we would end up here a lot. Um, Old habits die hard, you know what I mean? That's a tough one. And then... Because we had two matches where... Like, where the cradle was the The first factor. match of the cadet trials, and when we wrestled a journeyman, the only takedown in both the matches was his high crotch and my cradle. Like, that was all... I did. <laughs> I did that, and I backed up and had and shot an equal, which is unfortunately not too different from my wrestling a couple months ago. Yeah, <laughs> you can tell by watching the matches, like, it definitely makes sense where we are now. Like, by like you can see that. what we were trying to do when we were kids and just weren't good enough, but it was like, we watched the match at Cornell, and then we watched the cadet trials, and we're like, all right. Dude, funny story about that. So, like, me and Vito wrestled in the finals, and we were buddies. Like, I was literally training with him, like, a week before. And we always make the we joke, like... We were warming like, up that Together. Time. Yeah. We were making the joke, like, maybe our dads just kind of figured one of us would lose by now. But we, like, tech followed everyone, to, I think, to the finals. Or maybe one of us had, like, one match where we won by eight or something. But we were, like, you know, whatever. And then the match one happened, and I was still, like, ooh, okay. And then Vito came out for match two ready to go, and I kind of looked at my dad, and he's like, you better be ready to go. <laughs> I was like, okay. Like, the, the second match, aside from, like, the cartwheel because that didn't happen a lot, was way more like how it looked, where it was like a couple flurries, a couple like crazy things, and then like, you know, whatever happened, happened. Like when we wrestled at practice, it was like that. Yeah, it'd be a lot of like shot, 
a lot long of like scramble. dive to the leg, long scramble, stalemate, <laughs> like me flat with this Vito trying to break my lock and my lock just never going. This is the worst one. Literally, he's he's on the leg, and I'm like here, and I'm like no, you're like on your knees, you're like here, and I'm just like. Please let go, and I can't break this lock. There's right here. there's one clip. I think it's from the journeyman match. Oh, we're, where Vito we're was prying here. at my hand and my elbows. I'm literally and like, I'm just like no. this. <laughs> oh, Glue do it. There was one where we were in a scramble, and I oh, ended this up is after the cradle. So he, so yes, yes. So Vito's it goes down by like four or whatever. It goes it's like cradle, here, and then he like jumps back this way, and we end up like oh, I'm like trying to scoop the corner here. And I can't hook it because he's doing this. And I'm doing this with my feet. And he's so holding me I'm off like the trying mat. to do, like I'm, I'm trying to get danger. <laughs> but he's literally in this position. And we're on the edge. And I think they, like, I don't know if time ran out or stalemate. stalemate. Something. But then we go back in the So that was one where we were looking at and we were like, huh, like there's so many things you could have done. But we yeah. were just 14 and didn't know. So he's literally got me like upside down, feet in the air while I'm holding out of nothing but his leg. Like Vito, just. <laughs> just wait, just, just get, up. get up. And you can see, like, he's looking at his dad, like, what, what are we doing here? And his dad's, like, like trying to coach him through it. And then you just see me after the whole thing, just like, whoo, okay. <laughs> go so, back uh, wishing you go back and just, like, this is what you should have done. Yeah, like, <laughs> You only had your brain power back then. Yeah, if only we were uh, world-level world athletes. If only we were world-class when we were 14. <laughs> that would have been sweet. Dope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see that that when you couldn't uh, get him out of the quad pod. Oh, oh my God. so after Can this you is still actually get there. Oh yeah. Uh, this is actually after the car wheel. I prefer we do it from this angle though. Okay, okay. So <laughs> after Vito drags me, so like, I was very I'm flexible. I'm here, and literally like and I was like this. And the problem was he couldn't drive forward because if he did, he would have like fallen I was like, off. I was like here, but he was literally so, so There's widely split. There's one point where I'm like inches off the ground. Yeah, like he's this. literally like this and still no two. And I think they're gonna, I think they were gonna call me for passive. Literally like they were looking for it and I was like in this position. They were like gonna stalemate it because we had spent. So, so I, I remember hearing it. So like I was clearly stalling <laughs> and I'm winning 62. Oh, no, that's like later. After we get up, he's like, wow, I'm really, I, it might have been you. It's like, like, really looking to see Yanni go on the clock here. <laughs> yeah, he's like, really surprised he hasn't been called yet. Yeah, but in that one, it was like we spent 10 seconds of me like hanging out in this quad pod, like inches off the mat. And Vito was just, wa we were watching. Just like, and he's like, that is just ridiculous. But like, I'm this me, high me off the stupid ground. stupid too, because literally, I think I have like my leg in here. So I'm like holding him up. Like, now I, I would be like, oh, leg lace, but like, silly Vito. But yeah, we got into a lot of like, kooky. Yeah, kooky I mean, positions. we had a, outside of the actual matches, we like, like we'd spend a, spend a week at a time at each other's house. Like during the summer, like the, he would come and stay at my house because we used to VHW, like my dad's gym. We would used to do like these week long summer camps and it would be like nine to eleven hour break, like go to that deli twelve the to two. Like in hindsight, we were like we would wake up, no breakfast, go to practice, wrestle, hit a deli, get like a Italian sub on multi grain bread, eat it in like eat an it hour. in like twenty minutes, and then turn around, practice again, go home, have one real meal on the day, repeat for like a week. <laughs> it was, and just like so exhausted after the day, we come home and just like lay down, like. <laughs> There'd be one day that like we only had one workout and that was like our day we actually like hung out. Because like, every other yeah, day like it's Friday. like you'd get back at like, you know, from the second workout, it'd be like four o'clock, you eat dinner, it's like six. And then like my dad would send me to his house or if we were in Rochester, he'd be at my house and we'd just be like, you wanna just watch TV? He's like, yeah, man. And you just sit there and go like fall asleep and repeat. So basically not much has changed. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of what we, we do anyway. We still do that, except now our practice is a little more spaced out and yeah. we cook. That's it. Yeah, no more uh, deli subs, unfortunately. No more deli subs. Oh, yeah. I remember. I remember. This is embarrassing for Vito. Oh, God. When, when we were younger. So Vito, like, I always say, like, I'm like a chubby kid. Like, I have to diet pretty well to, like, 
be light and but Vito, like especially when we were younger, had good metabolism. <laughs> and okay. my dad would always yell at me this. like, "Yanni, you fat turd! Like, look at Vito, he's all lean. Like, you gotta eat better." This, and I'm like, man, like this kid's gotta be on it. So when the first time I went to his house, we were, I was staying there, and he's like, "Dude, do you want to go to like whatever the Seven Eleven on the corner?" I'm like, sure. And he got like beef jerky and iced tea, and I'm like, wait, hold on. And then we like woke up the next day and his dad got us like Dunkin' Donuts and he got like a breakfast sandwich. Like just normal things that a high school, like a 14 year old kid would have. But I went back, I'm like, dad, no, 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 no. I, I swear. And he's like, you're lying, you're making it up. I'm like, no, I promise. Like, no, dad, when, I was, when I was younger, I would <laughs> like, like straight up like, like a jar of Nutella and a spoon. Like, like, or like, I could sit down and eat like an entire watermelon in like one sitting, like with a spoon. What? Yeah. Vito had a good eating capacity. I could eat. And I, I also I could eat an ate, entire cheesecake in one sitting, like a a I, full-sized cheesecake. I'm telling you. And I ate a lot too. I just didn't look good. <laughs> I just I looked I looked like I ate a lot, you know. <laughs> and the funniest part about that is I went up. So our, what is it, our sophomore year of high school? Me and Vito were both like 128, 130. I'm like, well, I'm going 120. And I was like, all right, do I wrestle Jan or do I wrestle Pitch? And I was like, where I go up to 32 and wrestle and just free weight. So in retrospect, I probably would have went 26 and tried to wrestle Pitch. But, it was but like at the we time, all, I just we went 32. <laughs> and like, we were all training together. We're like, whatever. Like. So I, I went up to 32. So I was literally weighing like 130 wrestled 32, I would like eat whatever I want. It was so, and then the, my senior year, I went 38 because I started weighing 32. <laughs> so I just went up. Dude, and that then, was like when you went down to 25 and I was like, he wrestled 38, like he's gotta be mutilated down there. And we were like, nah, man, he weighed like 135. 135, wrestling 38. It was a good gig for, for a little bit. I literally weighed in for the state tournament for the second day like with my clothes on. I remember going to the weigh-in. <laughs> in the face to everybody else. I was a, I was a little asshole. I remember sure. my sophomore year going to the weigh-in and like I was kind of sick at the state tournament that year, so I'm like not even sucked out, but I just feel horrible. I'm like, uh. and I look over and Vito's like in his t-shirt and shorts, like drinking a Gator. I'm like, dude, we're like we haven't weighed in yet. Like, uh. and he's like, yeah, man, I'm like four under. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet. Because it was like second day after Christmas, plus two, and the plus one for the sec. Like, yeah, the weight was like 135. He's like, dude, I don't even know. I couldn't weigh 135. <laughs> that was like our sophomore year, maybe. Yeah, cool. Um, so we're just like got one or two minutes left. Do you guys want to get, like, give it a fist pump and split? Perfect, yeah. That That's like how we close a lot of our things. Like when we used to live together, you'd be like, pizza, pizza. Yeah. <laughs>